All right, all right, all right. Uh, welcome, uh, YouTube fam. Um, just want to welcome you into the video today. Uh, what I'm going to be discussing today um, is very important to me. To me. Uh, I want to share something with you real quick. Let me let me read from something real quick. I'm actually going to read something from uh, the teachings of Buddha. Okay, bear with me. I'm just kind of freestyling this today because I want to get something out that I feel is very important uh, to you all. So we're going to go with it. Okay, we're going to try to keep it short and sweet. Um, but it's something I really want to hit on today for you. First of all, let me go ahead and read this quick little uh, passage real quick. It's called Dhammapada, and it says, We are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. Speak or act with an impure mind, and trouble will follow you. As the wheel follows the ox that draws the cart. We are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. Speak or act with pure mind and happiness will follow you as your shadow unshakable. As your, sh oh, my bad. How can a troubled mind understand the way? Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own thoughts unguarded. But once mastered, no one can help you as much, not even your father or your mother. This brings me to what I want to address today. Family, what I want to cover with you today may be a little touchy subject to most of you or to some of you, but I want to, I want to actually cover this because it affects your fitness either positively are on a negative um, aspect, okay? I wanna cover what makes up your thoughts, okay? I wanna cover belief today, okay? And the reason why I wanna cover it is because, and I'll break this down too, because we're doing the fitness in words today. So I wanna show you where, what you believe, what you believe are your belief how it affects your overall life, okay? And I can prove it in, in the fitness and words, okay? In the etymology and other words, all right? First of all, I wanna get the definition of what the Webster or the Ox Oxford Dictionary says about belief, okay? Listen to this. Belief as a noun is, belief as a noun is the acceptance is an acceptance that something exists or is true especially one without proof okay i want to read that again as a noun belief is an acceptance that something exists or is true especially one without proof Okay, that's a belief. Here's an example, a belief that climate can be modified beneficially. Okay, the second definition is something one accepts as truth or real and a firmly held opinion. Okay, and then last but, but least um, is in a religious conviction, okay? Like a Christian, a uh, person that believes in Christianity, Muslim, you know, etc., etc. Okay? All right. Belief in is trust, faith, or confidence in someone or something. Okay? And we already, we already deemed that in the beginning, the first, uh, you know, definition says, especially one without proof. Okay? So that's what belief is. Okay? Um, what I want to hit on, okay, first of all, because I like to kind of go into like, you know, the, the, the way fitness or the way, uh, the way, you know, the breakdown of the words, okay? So when you look at the word belief, for example, all right, this is how I look at the word belief. Whatever your belief 
whatever your belief, it will become your reality, okay? Not necessarily saying that your reality is what is is your is what is actual or actuality, okay? The word belief, as you can see here, B-E-L-I-E-F, we're gonna break it down a little bit, okay? You know how I love to do it. Whatever your belief, okay? As you can see, your life. will be okay I'm gonna go ahead and make that right give me a moment bear with me because we're gonna take it slow whatever your belief okay right here put it right there your life will be as you can see it the word belief is B E L I E F and it breaks down to L-I-F-E-B. So whatever you believe, whatever your belief or your belief, your life is going to be. That's very important, okay? For the simple reason, um, you have to make sure that whatever your, be your belief or your beliefs are, that you whatever you're willing to believe or your belief, that it's going to be beneficial to your life, okay? That's probably the most important aspect of it, okay? Um, first of all, what I want to tell everyone, if you have a belief about something, okay, and we've already showed in the definition of belief that it doesn't mean that that particular thing, um, is true, okay? Um, you may be schizophrenic or have some type of mental uh, disease or something, bipolar, whatever it might be, and you may believe something a certain way, and that don't make it necessarily true. How many... How many things do, how many stories have we heard or how many things do we live under uh, that we really don't know anything about, but we just take it for granted and believe it or have a belief about, it, but we don't, we don't actually know. Okay. So if you know something, it would basically mean you don't have to believe it anymore. Okay. If you know something, you don't have to have a belief about it anymore. You know it in particular. Okay. So that's kind of where I want to go with this at, okay? This is kind of where I want to go with this, okay? If you believe something uh, or have a belief about something, you don't actually know about it. Once you know, uh, like for example, uh, you may know your name, okay? So you don't believe that's your name. You know your name, all right? Um, so there's no question about it if you know something. So you want to always look at things from the, from the a, a avenue of knowing instead of believing um which brings me to my next uh, point to believe or have a belief about something is not going to empower you what's going to empower you is what you know all right let me give you something that you should always remember okay as a jew never have a belief or believe something okay about yourself when it comes to your fitness or what a particular exercise or a particular amount of reps or anything will do for you, okay? Never form a belief about it or, or whatever unless you know. Um, this is where it becomes very important that you do your research when it comes to certain things, okay? I.e., what is it that you need to do as far as to get at a certain level of your fitness? Or how do you approach it, okay? Uh, this is where actually um, maybe uh, getting with someone, you know, that is a professional in the field of, you know, maybe uh, understanding what you should eat. So you would want to go ahead and find somebody, seek somebody that has the, uh, you know, experience in actually, um, you know, like a dietitian or someone that could actually go over uh, the food, uh, the proper food and things like that that you to actually eat in order to, uh, you know, experience a higher level of fitness. Um, um, so that's kind of where that goes. You want to act, you want to make sure um, that you're just not taking a belief about something without having actual knowledge uh, about that which you're choosing to believe. Um, 
what I want to cover today, bear with me because I'm just kind of doing this uh, shotgunning this because it's just something that I want to really relay to everyone the importance of having the know-how or the knowledge of what it is that you're doing, okay? When it comes to your fitness, you want to really um, take your time and uh, and really come into the knowledge of yourself, okay? Who you are. Uh, some people can get away with eating carbs and, and a lot of carbs in their body will respond a different way than somebody else, okay? You have to get to know yourself when it comes to what you're going to choose to believe or not to, you know, or your beliefs. You want to get to know who you are. You want to look at things from your from from your vantage point uh, uh, that, that works or don't work for yourself, okay? Um, and that's kind of where I want to go with that belief at. Um, real quick, I want to break down the word belief a little bit more um, and just kind of see what's in the word belief too. You know how I am. I love doing this. The word belief we already said that it actually has the word life, your life will be, okay? So we know it breaks down to that, all right? It also, let me erase that right there so you don't get confused. Also, the word belief has the word lie in it. These are just the words I'm just showing you real quick. Lie has the word beef, okay? It also has the word, we know what a fib is, all right? It has the word foul. It has the word, um, those are some of the ones that stand out to me. I'm sure you all, make sure you leave a um, comment in the description or whatever if you come up with any other words than what I've hit on, okay? Um, Oh, this is a good one. It has the word feel. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, nah. I'm just going to put this here because it's actually the word B. It's actually the word M. M is E-B, okay, for example. These are the... These are the six words that, that popped up to me um, that I um, noticed about the word belief right here. Okay. These are the words right here. Let's go right there. Put that one on the field right there. Right here. So you have belief, you have lie, you have beef, you have fib, you have foul, you have field, and you have air. Okay. So you can believe, belief or belief could actually be a lie. You know, you could actually have a right in the word now there's a lie right there you have the word beef um, and most people will probably think of the meat product you know beef um, but also you can you know the word how many how many beefs are caused by what you believe or a belief how many people argue because the word beef is like an argument how many people argue how, do, how many people how many wars are being fought over belief okay it's so important now when you believe something about yourself you, that you make sure that it benefits you, okay? Because remember again, whatever you believe becomes the truth in your life. You got fib, so you got two words that are saying something, you know, that are pertaining to not being true in the word belief. Ed. Ebb means to ebb and flow means to, you know, give and take, to, you know, to be flexible, to ebb, to flow, uh, to ebb, to flow, to expand and contract. That's the ebb, okay? And then, of course, you got the word feel and the word foul. The word foul would be, we all know what the word foul is, so your belief will, 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 will form a, uh, uh, will gather your, uh, um, uh, will gather your, uh, let me move this over here. So we already got that. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. So your, uh, to file something is to put it in an area. So whatever you believe is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna contain uh, aspects of your life to file something. So there's, you're putting something, you're containing something. You're gathering something too with the word uh, belief or beliefs. Um, and then of course, feel. 
to feel it's going to affect your emotions. What you're going to believe is going to affect your emotion. Don't you find that quite interesting that the word belief, um, even though it, could, it has the word lie in it, it has the word beef, it has the word fib in it, and it also causes people to, to, to gather something and contain it, and then it affects how you feel, your emotions and everything, and then it's going to have an effect on how you you contract or expand or detract or whatever it's gonna it's gonna pull you one way or the other okay this is just what I wanted to hit on it hit on the day because when it comes to your fitness and everything be very careful okay on how you believe things about yourself okay whatever you believe becomes your limitation Okay, or becomes your unlimited level of what you can achieve. Okay, do me a favor, my family. Please uh, leave any comments that you have in the comment section. I enjoyed this little brief video with you all. Hope you learned some. Hope I gave you a couple of things to think about. Um, if you have anything you would like that, that you're concerned about or would like to discuss with me, please leave it in the comment section. Also, like, subscribe, and share this video with any one of your friends. And you know, like always, always, always be seeking fit. Thank you for your time. And we look forward to speaking with you the next go around in the next video, okay? And it'll probably be back in the, back in the studio uh, or back in the park or back in the gym. You have a wonderful day. All right. Bye-bye. Peace.